Ouch. Thank you, my dude. I just started out playing and I'm grinding for Des Moines, but I'm encountering a simple problem. I'm currently at tier 5 and when I play, a battleship one-shots me every fucking time. What am I doing wrong? Most common error... Well, first of all, Omaha is a shit ship. So that, that's just a simple fact. Omaha is, Omaha is basically one gigantic citadel. Omaha is one of the few cruisers in, in World of Warships that are actually capable of overmatching themselves. Yep, that, that, that's right. Omaha straight up overmatches itself. It, it's pretty, pretty incredible. Did they change that? Yeah, they changed it to 13. Can, I think it can't anymore. It used to have 10 millimeters of armor, nose armor, which meant Omaha could shoot AP at other Omahas. But now they buffed it to 13, millim 13 millimeters. That still leaves this thing incredibly vulnerable because the Citadel is... This is basically the Citadel. Like... That's how large of a part of the ship the Citadel is. Any shots at the center are Citadels. But uh, generally, most common mistakes people make, especially in low tier uh, with cruisers, is they play too aggressively. The longer a game goes on, the more effective a cruiser is. Uh, and what cr a cruiser brings in mid to low tier to the game is not consumables, because you don't really have any consumable utility yet. And you have no heals, which means you have no survivability. So the only thing you bring to a game is DPM. Which means, in order to utilize that DPM, you just want to hide behind islands. Do a game in it. What are you new? Did you just pick up I mean, the game? I need to know. This isn't stat shaming. This is fucking animal reason. Shidori, thank you for the sub. IGL, thank you for the 16. Just because I know how to play the ship doesn't mean that I'm going to have a good game in the ship. Because o right. Omaha is fundamentally a shit ship. Zodiaco Panda, thank you for the vibe. Like, Omaha, is the, for Omaha has a lot of fundamental issues. Mainly that the ship just explodes if someone as much as looks at it. Is B hull not better? What was the difference between A and B? Well, what is this? Is this an AA hull? Oh shit, it's an AA hull, but you don't have any AA anyway. Wait, what kind of setup are we talking? 8x1, 2x2, 6x1. Shit, really? You lose two turrets for AA? What a terrible trade. Do you gain anything else? 4x3, 2x3. So you gain, lost, lose two turrets, you lose two, you lose two guns, two torpedo tubes, and you gain what? The continuous damage is 130 at 3.5 versus 106. Like, that, that doesn't do anything anyway. Okay, so B C hole is. Does it still give more range? It does not. Okay, so then B hole, B hole is just straight up superior to C hole. You don't want to buy that thing, Jesus. Actual trash. Let's slap recommended flags on it, and let's put a camo on it. Miracle. Alright, let's go. Get okay, build wise. First, well, first of all, what you want is priority target. Omaha is made of paper. You want to know when people are shooting at you. I think Omaha probably could use last stand, but do you want to spec for last stand? Probably not, because you want AR or higher tier. What else? Fire chance at this tier is much more useful than anything else. And this is for heavy cruisers. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna go into the Pensacola. You don't need last stand. Uh, and then concealment. That's probably the standard build. If you're moving towards Pensacola, what you want to save up points for is expert marksman. And at some point, you probably want to get the expert loader. Let's let's not pour any more points because the more points we pour, the more inaccurate it becomes as as what you're building for. All right, let's go lose a match.
like here someone someone talked about shouldn't have parties when there's covid uh this is the covid covid state of covid in finland right now this is where we're roughly hovering this is what eight six in a day before that we had 10 in a day in the entire country so amounts of people in uh, intensive care one actual in hospital care 14. Okay. new cases are 2.8 cases per 100,000 So, how the hell do you pronounce Mara? I like that. Basically, what, if you learn the Finnish alphabet, you can kind of pronounce Finnish. Because as mentioned, Finnish is pronounced exactly as it's written. Okay, so Omaha, a bad ship, very vulnerable. Um, what you what what you don't want to do is overextend early on. That's the com number one mistake. Is what cruisers do, is they play too aggressive and they get themselves killed in the early game, and they lose whatever benefit they could bring. What you want to be keeping an eye out at all times on is not just the minimap, but your own detection and priority target. So while we're shooting this guy, we're also making sure that we're not accidentally sailing into a position where we might become vulnerable. See how I've got islands on all sides like this? Okay, we're spotted. We play safe. Where someone is targeting us, even more reason to play safe. We're spotted from. We got undetected. Something probably sailed past here. Omaha, it's perfectly okay to play like a pussy in Omaha. You're not a tanky cruiser. Don't even pretend to be a tanky cruiser. You're a squishy. That's fine. In Omaha, you just have to accept the fact that you are a juicy target for everyone to shoot at. And this, this uh, lesson will serve you well when you reach the likes of Pensacola. And it will teach you patience. Okay, let's see, where are the BBs? The BBs are here. So if I start shooting this guy and turn in, nothing can really get my broadside, because I'm angling, angled against the BBs. Can we get some resets? Wow, no hits. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Unfortunate. We're gonna get broadside here. But nothing is spotting us, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get spotted now. The only one who can really do significant damage to us is the number. So we're angling away from him. trade a lot of health for doing damage to this Nuremberg because there's no need. Galizanir has a broadside. He is shooting us. So we're turning away. Fighting away. Main turret critically damaged. Rocket planes do significant damage, but we are undetected because they died. So we can just slow down solved, and farm this Galizanir. Okay. 
can, but there shouldn't really be much that can get our broadside. We're angled against everything. In general though, if you are spotted, you do want to be on the move, because just because you're angled doesn't mean you're safe, because this thing doesn't have any armor. Oh, no fires, unlucky. BBs are very far away. This cruiser is behind the island, so I can turn like this without being killed, because there shouldn't be anything that can actually shoot me. The fact that I'm spotted is interesting though, because it means there's a DD either here or here. Those are the two things that can spot me. Could be this guy. Let's wait until we get undetected. Or, you see that? Our concealment went down, but we're still detected. Torpedoes, so there's a DD ahead. close, and there's a DD here, in fact. Torpedoes to starboard. Ooh. Yep. Right in front of us. Where is the smoke moving? It's not moving, it's actually staying stationary. Torpedoes, direct front! A Hydra has a range of four. Omaha isn't that agile, but we can still get this Hatsuharu killed. Prob oh, we're gonna use our fighter now, we've been saving it in case we need it. And we need it now because AP bombers are a fighter huge airborne. threat. Up, oh, and fighters are extremely useful. Said no one ever. Try to angle against the bombs. We manage. Wish All my team would kill this guy. Fire on the designated Torpedoes to port. Really wish my team would kill this guy. When you get an opportunity, absolutely destroyer. do hunt DDs if you get a chance. DDs give you a lot of XP, and you do fairly decently against them as well. Okay, our torpedo range is 5.5. We need to get a bit closer. Something is spotting me. Let's try to get undetected. We don't actually want to push into the Fubuki with all this firepower here. If we push in like this, we're gonna get killed. So we disengage. It's not a fight worth taking. You gotta know when you're gonna get yourself killed, and that's a situation that would have gotten me killed. Enemy destroyer the torps finish him off, and we start, we keep disengaging. Fighter planes in case the torpedo bomber harasses us. There's the torps, but as always, if you're kiting away from the DD, the odds of him managing to torp you are very, very slim, because you get because you're already moving away from the torpedoes, which means you get plenty of warning before the torpedoes arrive. You see how easy it is to dodge this even without Hydra. Now let's try to find a position behind the islands where we can farm the Texas. Texas is a slow and clumsy ship, and what the Omaha does best is deal damage to slow and clumsy ships. Note that even if I get plane spotted here, it's very easy for me to angle in or get into cover behind the island. So this is a very safe spot to deal damage from. Switch the torps, is he reversing? What is he doing? Looks like he's basically reversing very slowly. 
Torbs tend to give you an indicator of which way he's moving. Indicator, you know. And this is what you this is the ideal situation what I'm doing right here, which is this is what you want to be doing in a cruiser. If if you can deal damage in a cruiser without being shot at, without taking damage in return, then your positioning is good. Regardless of what any potato tells you, regardless of someone, oh, you're such a pussy, oh, wait, wait, come out and fight like a man, any of those guys, they're just idiots. If you can deal damage in a cruiser without taking damage in return, your positioning is superior. You will always get people who go, ah, oh, stop camping, or come and fight like a man. And those people, what they basically are saying is, I'm fucking shit at the game. That, that, that's fundamentally what they're saying. I do not understand World of Warships. This is a good time to push in. Omaha's advantage is the fact that you can actually go full nose in, but still deal a significant amount of damage because of the turret cell. the fighter. Fighter airborne. If he wants to drop me, he has to go around. Because these, these, the these weren't the armed. All soft. The, the ceiling is soft, the floor is soft, the walls are soft, and to an extent the air is soft. And if he wants to go How around, dare you make fun of my language that consists of three fall guys in a trench coat mugging each other and others for spare vowels, punctuation, and more synonym. Hmm. We bait him into going around the left, then we turn to the right. The idea is to angle against these bombers and angle in against this guy at the same time. We catch him with some citadels. Then we focus the Ruya. We're using priority target to let us know if we're being focus fired. Bombers are coming back, so we're changing course again to mess with this drop. Still gets a citadel because carriers balance the class. We're gonna finish this guy, then we're gonna switch to the other dude. JP. He's dead. Our victory is inside. Trento has sap, which means he's very powerful if he gets your broadside. But nose in, he will struggle to do too much damage. And nose in, we can once again use Omaha's advantage, which is those great turret angles. And let's say you play Oma. It doesn't mean it's a good ship. It's still a thing. It's a ter still a terrible ship. But that doesn't mean that you can still you can't still do work with it. Yeah, you can still carry. Like you can carry in any ship, really, in World of Warships. Um, but that doesn't mean the ship itself is good. Bio Phoenix, thank you for the twenty six months. By the way. Filthy seal climber, yeah. Yeah, I generally don't think so. I, I don't generally play in lower tiers because, well, it always feels a bit eh. But these days, honestly, the player base is just as potato at tier 10 as it is as, at lower tiers, so not much has changed. 